Here's a fact of life from the world according to Candler. The most unlikely companions can be the best of friends. Could we be more white trash? Welcome! You're watching this installment, and I believe we finally went home on a budget. Although I did say that sometimes the most unlikely companions can be the best of friends, I want to clarify that. They can only be the best of friends if you handle them with the utmost care. Unless you're a farmer raising a whole bunch of chickens, under no circumstances should anyone with no experience be raising the duck in their home. Where are you going to put the darn thing? And how so are you that it's not going to fly out of the house? That's just one of four misadventures that Maya and Miguel find themselves in, in a DVD that's quite twice the fun. Literally. Because this is the second Maya and Miguel DVD I purchased. This one coming to us originally from the Union Free Public Library, the Vauxhall branch here in Jersey. Then making its way to 2nd Avenue Thrift Superstore in Union where I picked it up for half off a of buck ninety-nine. And now it's here on my table at TSR HQ. By the way, you guys really seem to enjoy the first Miami Miguel DVD review I did, which I will link downstairs in the description below if you want to check that out. And for those who haven't seen it, well, the link's there for you. Thank you for that. I'm sorry to do it under these circumstances, but what is life? I'll tell you what life can be when the Santos twins show up in your living room. As the DVD says... Twice the fun. Double your laps, says my Aunt Miguel. Get caught up in many colorful adventures that will have the whole neighborhood smiling. As was the case with the first DVD, we have here four episodes from the first season of the daytime Emmy nominated PBS Kids series, a Scholastic Entertainment production. The first one is my personal favorite, The Letter. Max Mickey goes up in smoke when Maya delivers a mistaken love letter on Miguel's behalf to Esperanza, the new girl in school who doesn't know much English and is also the object of Miguel's pal Andy's desires. We also have the autograph, Rhymes with Gato, which is the focal point of this video, and my second favorite, La Nueva Cosenita, where the Santos twins try to spice up the neighborhood with some of their Abuela Elena's old recipes. You know what literally rhymes with Gato? Pato. Gato means cat, aka Yo-Yo, Chrissy's cat who ends up running away. And Pato is Duck, aka the duck that was originally hired to perform at Cousin Tito's courtyard birthday party, but ends up getting lost as well. He ends up, or she ends up, in Miami Miguel's care thanks to Maggie's bad Spanish, mistaking the Gato for a Pato. In time, the duck warms up to Maya, just as the duck on Friends warmed up to Chandler, and Zoe, and that chick too. The duck didn't take too kindly to anyone else. In any event, this DVD runs uh, 88 minutes, approximately, and is closed captioned. Distributed by Lion State Home Entertainment. No playback problems to report on, and if you're looking for the live action segments with kids... Well, they're presented separately, along with a mismatch game, and Spanish language audio tracks. All a part of the special features here. Miami Gal does incorporate a lot of Spanish sayings, phrases, and dialogue into the series, but either immediately after or before, they're followed up with their English translations. So it's very easy for you to understand all the Spanish that's going on here. I mean, this is one of the few narrative-driven PBS Kids series uh, that you can find out there. Especially when it focuses on Latino culture. And Chinese culture on the part of Maya's friend Maggie, African-American culture on the part of Miguel's friend uh, Theo, who's quite the smarty pants, in a good way. So... You really are in for a ball if you pick this up. I'm giving it four and a half out of five claps. And that right there, my friends, is another SOS signal being answered. I just hope that Chandler and Zoe's chicken duck go to a good home and they get some decent names. In fact, this DVD might have provided the new owner of the chicken duck with two decent names to begin with. And check out more TSR by clicking on another awesome review like this one, top left. And be sure to subscribe by clicking top right. Until next time, I'll catch you on the flip side.